everyone, it's Bun. Hello, my little bunnies. Today we are doing a little bit of a different video. We are going to be talking about how I got vampire fangs done by my dentist. I posted a TikTok, which I'll insert here. In this TikTok, I showed that I got these things done by my cosmetic dentist and I got a ton of questions about how I got it done and how much it costs, how did I ask, things like that, and how they um, feel slash affect my regular life. So <laughs> I thought, um, I, I wrote down a bunch of questions and I thought we'd go through them and talk about my teeth. So I guess the first thing to get into is how did I ask my dentist? Um, my dentist is like how he describes his practice is family and cosmetic dentistry so he's my regular dentist that does my cleanings and checks for cavities all that kind of stuff but he is also a cosmetic dentist so he can do like whitening your teeth um, <laughs> vampire fangs if you're crazy <laughs> like me I'm um, sure he can fix like chips and you know all that kind of stuff make your teeth look how you want them. Really, how did I ask? I just basically asked him about what I wanted. Um, I was about to start working my regular full-time job. I just graduated school and so I knew I'd have a little bit more of a budget to be able to do something like this. Um, so I went to my dentist for a cleaning and while I was there I showed him a couple of little reference photos and I said hey would you be able to do like vampire things like something like this because I wanted him to know what I'm asking for so definitely take uh, reference photos with you uh, in fact take a bunch of reference photos I did not take enough in the beginning which we will kind of get into but basically I showed him reference photos so he's not thinking I want like ginormous Halloween fangs which if you want that that's still cool but um, that's why you want to take pictures of what you want like if you want them kind of shorter like not super crazy like mine take pictures to show them what you want um it's funny too because he even asked like oh do you want them tooth colored and i'm like there are other options <laughs> um but he said he had someone else do uh like gold gold fangs before to each their own that's cool too so uh, apparently my dentist doing cosmetic dentistry had not been um, like he had done something like this before so he wasn't opposed to the idea but I will say so my dentist is fairly young I'd say he's probably in his 30s um, so he may be more open to it than some of the older generation now that's not always the case but I just feel like a lot of the time younger people understand body modifications more than the older generation again not always the case there, I'm sure there's a lot of older dentists that would also be open to doing something like this I mean hey if it's what you want and you're willing to pay for it I'm sure a lot of them will do what you want them to like I mean within reason they don't want to hurt your bite or you know mess up things with your teeth that will affect your daily eating living and you know every medical professional they're going to do no harm first so if it's something you want that's just like it's going to hurt you any good medical professional is not going to do that so um but my dentist is Dr. Miles Moore in Memphis. Um, he was really nice and open when I asked about it. Now, one thing he did mention, so these teeth that we did are temporary. He wanted us to do temporary first because I'm only 26 and then I can see how I like them. And then in a couple years, I can do like real veneers if I want to, but real veneers are like full commitment they usually shave down your actual tooth to put the veneer on there so not really going back from that right <laughs> I mean you could always put I'm, I'm sure they could change the veneer at some point but it's still you've shaved down your real tooth that's a big commitment so since I'm only 26 he was like hey how about we do like temporary ones first which I was totally fine with and also real veneers are even more expensive so <laughs> I guess we'll start to get into the next question how did I get it done and what was the process so these are called chair side veneers. That's what he called them. And they are made of composite. They are temporary. They last two to three years. Now, he did say I could break these. So 
that is something I may have to get fixed in the future if I like bite something that's too crunchy or hard I assume is how they would break that is something to think about you may have added costs later like if you have to get them fixed um I didn't ask him how much that would cost I forgot to but <laughs> that's just something to discuss um but basically yeah I, I showed him my reference photos um I wanted my teeth longer and pointy my real teeth were like the same length and like not pointy <laughs> they were kind of like oh in my mind they were kind of a weird shape they're kind of like a soft diamond or something like but they definitely are not this so I'm very happy with <laughs> what we got done I basically went in for my first appointment which he called a wax up which is what I expected them to do is take a mold of my teeth with that really gunky, gross stuff, alginate. Um, but his office actually had this machine where they just like scanned my teeth and it gave them a mold that way. So I didn't have to have any of that gunk done. That was great. <laughs> um, so I went in, they scanned my teeth and they were like, all right, well, we'll call you when we have like a mock-up to see if you like it. So the next appointment I went in, um, if I liked this, I think they would have attached them that same day, but uh, they put this like kind of thin film version on top of my tooth um, to see if I liked it. Now for me, they weren't long enough. I wanted them longer and pointier, <laughs> which he was fine with. I let him know that um, and he wants me to be happy with what I'm getting. So he was like, okay, here's my number. Send me more reference photos so we can get you exactly what, what you want. Which is why I say bring more reference photos, bring, bring a lot of reference photos and maybe email it to them if they're okay with that. I found this model online, an alternative model, Shelly D'Inferno, and I really loved her vampire fangs and so I was like, okay, this is like what I want. So she's my inspiration picture if that helps you guys. <laughs> um, so I sent him those and he's like, okay, cool, great, I'll see you soon. And he made these. And they also matched the shade of these to the, you know, the color of my regular teeth because that's the sh the, what I wanted. I wanted them to look semi-natural. But yeah, when he put these on, I was so excited. I love it. Now, uh, he did also, like, once these were on, these go on my regular tooth. No shaving down, no pain, nothing like that. They are on top of my regular tooth. He can take these off anytime. Like, it doesn't have to last the whole two or three years if I'm like, I don't like these anymore. He can take them off. The next question is, how much did it cost? So, I don't have my exact bill right now, but, um, but I fully have paid for these. I'm not, like, on a payment plan or anything weird. Um, but these do not go under insurance because these are fully cosmetic. It's not like, oh, you need these for medical reasons or they're fixing a tooth, doing a root canal, you know, something, like, fixing something or you're in pain these are purely cosmetic just for fun <laughs> so these I didn't even try to put them through my insurance I knew that they weren't gonna go through my insurance so these were between two and three thousand dollars um, now that may vary different dentists different places you know could vary could vary depending on what dentist you go to and what they use how the process works so for me, they were between two and three thousand dollars. People were also asking, like, how do these feel? Did anything hurt? Again, nothing hurt for me getting these done. Um, I'm not sure about actual veneers. Like, from what I understand, I don't really think those would hurt because the way they shave down your tooth, they leave part of it intact because they're not gonna, you know, hurt your nerve endings there. That they're not gonna be unethical about it. So, um, I don't think real veneers hurt, but I am not sure about that part. <laughs> But these did not hurt. These just go straight on my tooth. Kind of like, you know, the vampire dentures, I guess, at the Halloween store. But these just stay. People were asking, do I ever bite my lip or cheek or whatever else? Um, yeah, <laughs> I do. But I knew about that going in. Like, okay, down here, like, I, before I had these things, I would bite myself all the time. It sucks. It hurts. It's annoying. But... I already knew that, so I was like, well, whatever. I know it's gonna still happen when I have these. And yeah, it might hurt, hurt more, hurt, hurt less. I think it hurts the same. These aren't incredibly sharp, so I'm not like hurting myself any more than my regular tough tooth does when biting my lip. I knew that risk going in. <laughs> 
But yeah, I still do do that and it, it's annoying, but I already knew that that would keep happening. People were asking, did it affect my speech? I would say maybe the first week having them, I was getting used to them. I might've had a little bit of a lisp, but nothing too bad. Um, my, you know, I don't really feel like it now. I, I'm not sure if like my jaw adjusted to where the teeth are, but really he did all he could to not affect my bite at all. Um, and I'd say he did a really good job at that. And going into that, can I chew regularly? Can I eat regular foods? Yes. I chew the exact same as I would have before. Um, what he did is when he put these teeth on, he shaved behind them to give them a certain curve that's more natural to my regular tooth. Cause he wanted me to be able to, you know, not sit like this, but bite down with them in front of my teeth, you know, bite down as I had been before. So I chew foods regularly. I honestly don't think about my teeth that often. Like I like them for the aesthetic, but I'm not like thinking about them while I'm eating, like watch out. Um, even the fact that they could break. I, when I was talking to my dentist, um, he said I can do everything pretty much normal. Um, I did say I would kind of treat them a little bit like braces where you can only eat certain things, but even now I don't really do that. I don't think of them. I even, um, I still, I wasn't like, I might've been a little careful doing this, but I, I even ate like a caramel apple the other day at the fair, you know, like biting it and stuff and it was fine. Um, but yeah, so he basically shaved the back end of the fake tooth so that I can bite regular and not have to worry. And so it doesn't affect my bite in any weird way. I think that might be all the main questions. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really do love my teeth. I do not regret getting them. I'm very happy with them. And they're like natural enough that people don't really notice. Um, like if I smell them like that, you don't see it. If I smell big, you might see it. But um, even still, like they look fairly natural considering um, maybe not to everyone, but most people, like I haven't had people really say anything about it. Um, <laughs> like at work or you know outside of my regular family that knew I was getting it done um, so I got fairly subtle ones now that is oh that is one point to bring up um, he said if I wanted longer we'd probably had to wait till the actual veneers like because just the risk of breaking them and um, comfort level like we I could probably go longer with like porcelain real veneers this is as long as we could go for now, but honestly, I did not mind. I was happy with this and I love them, so yay. <laughs> um, let me know any other questions you guys have for me in the comments. I'll try to answer everything I can. Um, yeah. Also, um, for a question of the video, uh, let me know, are there any cool body mods you guys wanna get? Like any cool tattoos, piercings? You wanna get vampire teeth too? Maybe that's why you're here. <laughs> that is all about my fangs. Oh, and I did wanna say too, like I had braces way before I got these. Um, so I did get new retainers. And so I guess I'll show you guys those too. Um, I had to get new retainers because I can't just stick my old. He said that it would break the tooth if I stuck my old retainer on there. My old one was just like one of those metal wire ones, but it just was not gonna work. So these are, um, kind of like Invisalign retainers. He gave me a few sets of them because they only last for like a certain amount of time, I believe. Um, but here we are. It's my first time opening these though. So we can try them on together. <laughs> I think he gave me, he gave me lower ones too, which I'm actually surprised he did that. I don't know if he had to like, for a set to come in, he had to do both, but this is still fun. Ooh, I don't know, that's fancy. <laughs> I, never, I had real braces, like the metal ones. I didn't have Invisalign, but let's see. Oh yeah, here's the retainer. You can see my tooth is longer, wee! <laughs> oh, she's just faking that and wearing uh, vampire teeth. I would not get new retainers because retainers are expensive as hell. <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> there we go. So, it feels weird. I haven't worn a retainer in a while. I'm being, I'm bad, <laughs> but yeah. So I got my little shiny vampire teeth retainer in now. 
I do have a list with the retainer, so <laughs> I'm gonna take this off off camera because that's gross. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you guys because yeah, retainers, bleh. Okay, man, those retainers are no joke. That thing was snug, <laughs> but that's good. That's good. We want it to be, we want it to keep our teeth in line. So um, yeah, I think that's really cool um, that he could give me a retainer too because I don't want my teeth to keep, like I haven't worn my retainer enough already to be honest, but I don't want my teeth to get more crooked just because I want to vampire teeth. So, because I'm not trying to get braces again, y'all. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I think that's everything. I think that's all about my vampire bangs. <laughs> I really, really love them. So yeah, if you guys have any more questions, please let me know in the comments. I'll try to answer everything I can. And yeah, and if you wanna see, um, well, I was gonna say if you wanna see more videos like this, uh, I guess let me know because I do wanna start getting like tattoos and things like that soon. So I might do like little tattoo vlogs and stuff. That'd be fun. That's probably what I'll do because I wanna get some gaming themed tattoos. If you're new here, my channel is usually kind of a gaming channel. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for things like that. Um, if you're new here, I also do like kawaii lifestyle videos. So I do, um, I do like gameplays, I do, kawaii outfit videos which are going to be coming soon i haven't done them yet but they're coming <laughs> um and yeah we're gonna do like little tattoo vlogs once i start getting tattoos and i like to show like cute gaming controllers and my pink pastel setup so things like that so yeah stay tuned if you're interested in any of that stuff if you guys like this video be sure to hop on that like button and subscribe to join our little bunny fluffle thanks so much for watching Mwah. bye